Hello, my divas. Welcome back to my channel. As you may see from the beautiful thumbnail that I created, <laughs> I love this look that I have going on today. It's just like what I had in my mind that I was going to do with this gorgeous palette from Nomad Cosmetics. It is um, called the Land Elt and is um, Iceland Fire and Ice. And this is just inspired in this beautiful country that I hope I get to visit once, at least once in my lifetime. And this color story just caught my attention because it is just so beautiful. The colors are just amazing. Um, the story behind this uh, palette is just beautiful, related to nature. Um, it is inspired in uh, ice and fire, which is like the volcanoes and the ice uh, places in Iceland. And I think it's just a beautiful inspiration. Um, I know the this palette is not new, but it is new to me, as I always say. And honestly, I had a lot of fun doing this look and it just turned out to be exactly what I wanted. So effortless, so easy. And I had no fallout. I, I mean, I am in love with this palette already. So I'm going to throw in some swatches for you and I hope you guys keep on watching so you can see how I created this look. All right, my divas. So today, as I always do, I'm only going to be swatching the shades that I used in this look because I plan to do a second look with this palette. So I will be doing other swatches in the future. So the first one that you may see in this palette that I used today, <clears throat> excuse me, it's this beautiful, um, it's like a very um, pastel a light green. It feels so creamy to the touch and it's very, very light. I used that on the top here today in the front. The second one, it's going to be this one, the gorgeous, beautiful, fiery looking orange that I use all over my, um, in the upper top of the crease. And it is just gorgeous. It also feels super creamy, even though it's a matte shade. And third shade that I used today was this beautiful, darker um, orange. But this one doesn't feel as creamy as this one. It is creamy on the touch, but not as creamy as the lightest one. So let's just swatch this. And let's just go ahead and do... Giving me a little room here to swatch. So let's do this one first. I love, love, love this shade so much. So pretty. So pastel -y as well. This is so pretty. I use this three shades today and I'm going to be swatching the next three. Next shade I use today, um, it's this beautiful darker um, blue, and it's also a matte. And look how gorgeous and deep that blue is. I used it all over my outer V. It is so pretty. Uh, the next one that I used today, it was um, this one too. I used a little bit of this in the lid. In the middle of the lid and i also use the river glacier which is another shimmery oh that picked out a lot and i use this three today as well let's swatch them the beautiful darker blue this gorgeous it's such a pretty like a dual chrome because it has a shift like a baby blue shift to it i don't know it's super weird and super gorgeous and I also use this one today, which is kind of like a baby blue, almost white shade. And then I only have one more, which is the beautiful green here that I used it on top of this one in my inner corner. And let's just swatch it. It's just a beautiful shimmer green. But when I put it on top of the other one, it's not too green. 
but it is such a beautiful shade. And I'm gonna swatch it here. This is the last of the shades that I use. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shades that I used today all over my eyes. I hope you guys like it. Those are beautiful. I'm gonna apply today the shade Hecla to my crease. And there's a little bit of kickback in the pan already, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna go as high as possible with this beautiful shade. It is a very nice orangey tone, but not too, too bright. It's just like really pretty. And this one, I'm gonna apply it as high as close to the eyebrow bone. And I'm not gonna go up to the front too much because I wanna do another color in the front. So this one, I'm gonna keep it over here. It's so pretty. Now with the same brush that I used for that one, I'm gonna go into the deeper one because it's just a deeper tone. And I'm gonna apply that directly into my crease just to deepen out this area right here. But carefully, cause I don't wanna go too much into the front. This is pretty. I thought it was going to be a little bit more deeper. So I'm going to do like two or three layers of this shade because I feel like I need it. And it's looking super cute already. But the more I put, it looks a little bit better. So this is looking cute. As you may see, it's looking super good. For my outer V, I'm going to go into this dark blue and apply it over here. And then I'm going to see if I can deepen it out a little bit with this one. But let's see if it's necessary. Right now, I'm just going to use this darker um, dark blue, which is like a navy blue. And I'm going to apply this right here. Oh, those two tones look so good. But I'm going to be careful because I don't want to really go too high. I want to kind of keep it between the outer V and the crease, but not so much into the crease. So I'm being careful with this shade. It is beautiful, though. Such a pretty, intense, dark blue. It's so pretty. That's looking good. Let's do the other eye. Okay, let me move this. It's moving my, making me um, crash into that every time I move my brush. And I'm being extra careful here. Like I said, All right, so I think that's good. Next shade I'm gonna be using is this beautiful right here, and I'm gonna apply it all over my lid. And let's see how this performs. It's my first time using the shimmers from this palette. I mean, first time for all the shades in this palette, but oh, how gorgeous is this? Whoa. This is so pretty. Let me apply a little bit more. Okay, that is looking so sick and wet. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, but I feel like I left uh, another area of my eye undone. And that's the front of my lid. I mean, 
the front of my eye and I'm gonna work in there right now. I just need to figure out what I'm gonna do there, but uh, so far this is looking so pretty. I'm loving this already. Such a gorgeous shade. So metallic, so intense, and these colors are looking amazing already. Let's see what I'm gonna do in that front area. You know what, I should have done this step before I did this one, but it's no big deal. I'm gonna go into this shade right here, this very pastel-y um, kind of green tone, and I'm gonna go and use that. It is a matte shade, so I'm gonna use it in that area, just in the front of the eye right here. And I think it's gonna look super, super good with the look that I'm going for. And you may see, it looks amazing already. Whoa. This is everything I wanted from this look. Honestly, I'm not even done. And I think it looks so pretty. The greens with the oranges. Oh, fire. Fire. So let's just use a little bit more right here in this area and kind of like connecting these two shades in the top. But that is looking snatched. Oof. And you know what? This palette has really impressed me because no fallout, no fallout at all. Okay, so. I think that's looking super, super good. So the next shade I'm gonna be using is gonna be River Glacier, which is that pretty um, shimmery shade, which is like a really, really light, 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 light blue. And I'm gonna apply it in the front right there. And for that, I need a clean brush. And of course, I'm also gonna wet the brush because I'm just so used to that little process already that oh it just makes the shades that are shimmery stand out so much better and let's see what this looks like right here in the front oh that is looking pretty just connecting these two right here because oh those two metallic ones are just a dream so pretty. So, so pretty. Let's do the other eye. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I, I feel like... I feel like this shade is a little bit brighter. It is brighter. Hmm. I feel like using this on top of that. I'm going to use... Um... Hmm, should I use this on top of that? I think I do, the Northern Lights. I'm gonna use this one on top and let's see what comes out of it. Kind of like mix with this. It's like a very, very light, oh, amazing. Very, very light um, shimmer green look at that that is way better than than before such a pretty green but not too green i feel like the camera doesn't give him justice because it is way more shimmery in real life but it is just gorgeous it's looking so good but I feel like I need to do my lower lash. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna use the same shade that I used in there in the lower lash. But you know what? I need another little brush and I'm gonna use this one. It is this previous um, shade that I used and I'm gonna go ahead and um, connect this right here in the lower lash because that's just gonna look so pretty. Ooh, super cute. It 
this is such a gorgeous shade okay my divas i'm gonna go ahead and use the same shade that i use on the top and kind of like diffuse the lower lash um color that i did there and just lightly kind of like diffuse it and you can see how different it looks and it looks so much better when you diffuse that line right there it looks super super good you know honestly i didn't think this look was going to come out this way and it is super super beautiful i couldn't love it more it is just great and i'm using the same um brush that i use because this one is kind of an, an angled brush and i think it performs super good in this area even though it's a little bit big but i don't mind it's super pretty and it does a really good job applying the product and i mean these two colors together they look super super good and make my eyes stand out a little bit more so now i need just a little bit of the inner corner and i'll be done let's see what i'm gonna pick um because i already used the lightest one which was this one but you know i think i can apply a little bit more in the inner corner and it's gonna look good so let's just get another little brush and apply it there let me use this one and wet it as well and let's stick into river glacier and just apply a little bit in this area and yes it is doing the job it is looking good just right there in the little area. Mm -hmm. It's looking pretty. It's looking pretty. All right. So, honestly, I already love this palette so much. It's one of my favorite formulas of all the new palettes that I own. And I think this look is complete. I'm going to do eyeliner, lashes, lipstick, and I'll be right back, my divas. All right, my divas, so this is the finished look. As you may see, it turned out to be super, super easy to make. I love the combination of these colors together. Um, it's exactly what I was hoping to do, combining, combining uh, the greens and a little bit of orange. And that's what the palette was telling me to do. And I think it came out super good. I went ahead and added a little bit of lashes. They are uh, falsies, but they look super natural and super good. Those are my Ioni lashes. And then I went ahead and used um, one of my favorite uh, lipsticks from Juvia's Place. And it's this beautiful nude. I think it looks super good with the eye look. Um, honestly, I couldn't be happier with this palette because the formula is so amazing it is so easy to use blends super easy i didn't have any issue no fallout it's i didn't even have to clean not even once and i mean this color story is just like one of my favorite palettes of all times i can honestly tell you um today i just wanted to concentrate in using like that side of the palette only um i think i'm gonna use well i use this one a little bit but 
I want to do a second look only using like maybe these colors and some of these darker shades but today I went ahead and used more of these shades right here and I think the look came out super very very nice I love it I love the color combination it was so effortless to make the formula like I said amazing I loved it so so much this is the second palette that I have from Nomad Cosmetics and I can honestly tell you I love 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 their formula I love um their packaging is amazing I love the cardboard it's just beautiful it's like a 3d cardboard thing and it's just amazing I can honestly tell you this is like one of my favorite formulas of all the palettes that I own and I totally recommend this palette I know it's not new but it is new to me um first time using this palette and it just performed amazing I know I'm gonna be using it a lot of times and soon I'll be I'll be making a second video using um most of the other shades that I didn't use today and that's it for today my divas if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit, hit the notification bell for you to know every time that I upload and my divas I will see you in my next video I love you all Bye.